Hi guys, so today we are doing the Booksbo tag, which was created by me. This is the original video for that tag, and I basically made this tag because I want to celebrate other booktubers. I really feel like I don't do it enough, and especially since I just hit 10,000 subscribers, I was like, I need to thank everybody, because this community is so wonderful, and I feel like I know so much about people through the books that they read, and there's still so much more that I want to know, but it's just a really great community, and I want to celebrate that. There are 10 questions here and the answers are going to be 10 different booktubers and I just want to point out that I literally could have picked like a million different booktubers for any of these questions, but these are just some that popped into my mind first. There are two rules for this tag. Basically for each question you can put as many booktubers as you want for the answer, but rule number two, you can't repeat any booktubers. So if you put one booktuber down for uh, answer number one, then you can't put them down for number three as well. You will see as I go along. The first question is, who started your booktube journey? For me, I learned that booktube exists through Priscilla from the readables. I feel like this is the answer for a lot of different people, but Priscilla's editing is just incredible to me and something that I aspire to. And not only is she a great critical reader and she has fantastic reviews, but she does them in a way where it's so fun to watch because I just love watching her editing process and I still aspire to that. Seems like such a wonderful person and I really miss her. Second question is, who kept you on here? Now two people that really kept me going were Alyssa from Fox and Paperbacks and Mandy from Oh It's Mandy. These two have been with me from the beginning, like as soon as I started making booktube videos I saw them comment on my booktube videos and it just made the community experience such a community experience, you know? And seeing their channels and seeing them make videos about books that they love it just made me know those people and it just really makes it seem like a whole forum group of people like a whole family of people that just really like talking about books and that's all I want in life basically number three is fresh outlook so basically someone that reads something completely different than you but you still really really enjoy watching them for me that's Lindsay from Lindsay Ray she reads like the polar opposite of what I read I think and I think she also reads a lot of the different things that I read like she also reads literary fiction and young adult and that stuff but then she moves into science fiction which I read some of but not as much as her and then fantasy and detective novels and so many things she has weekly reviews where she goes in depth about these novels and she talks a lot about the characters and I love books with great character development so when she talks about the characters in these books she makes me so excited to read them and I just want to read all the books that she's so enthusiastic about. I love her videos so much, she's great. Number four is who is your booktube doppelganger? So basically the person that has the same opinion as you on the books that you read, they literally are speaking to your soul every time they talk. For me that's Allie from Allie Reads Books. Whenever she talks about books, and when she talks about books, she talks about books that I really feel like I only have on my shelves, like they're not ones that you hear on booktube very often. She has the same exact opinions that I do on like Chuck Palahniuk novels and other novels, and just every time she talks about a book, I'm like, I know that I would love this book because she loves this book. And it, it just makes me really happy. Number five, who feeds your addiction? Who has those hauls that you absolutely love watching? For me, that's Jillian from Bookish and Nerdy. She has the she has my favorite hauls I love them they can be like 15 minute 20 minute videos I will watch them all the way through recently she's been buying a lot of new adults so I literally have like my Amazon tab and then I have hers and like I'll just look at the like Kindle deals for them and they'll be like $1.99 each and I'll be like yes and half the time she's already like read half the books that she's hauling so it's really nice hearing her thoughts as well it's just really really great number six who does reviews that make you auto buy books for me that's going to be Shannon from Leaning Lights that's another person where I like have my Amazon tab ready and then I also have hers and she also has books that are usually like $1.99 on the Kindle like in her reviews. She's another person who is a critical reviewer, which I love. She talks about the things that she likes and the things that she doesn't like. She's very genuine within her reviews, so you know that you are like getting her specific thoughts and not thoughts that have been like clouded over or anything. This is like her work and I love it. Number seven, who motivates you to be creative? For me, that is Emily from Emily Jean. Recently, she's been dabbling into a lot of different videos. Her recent birthday video, it was just relatable in so many different ways. And she also does, um, what are they called? Fashion lookbooks. She does lookbooks sometimes. Sometimes she, like, she talked about her vinyl collection. It's really nice hearing what people are doing other than reading. It's for me, at least. I think that's really interesting. And I love seeing her style. I just love seeing different parts of her other than her reading. I think it's really nice. Number eight, stop everything 
editing videos, like when you see this on your phone on the YouTube app, you stop and you automatically watch it. For me, that's anything that Rincey makes from Rincey Reads. She is just so precise with everything that she does, I feel. It's really wonderful just seeing how not only critical, but... Uh, Ugh. How do I explain how much I love Rincey's videos? It's just every time I watch her videos, I honestly feel like I'm watching the news. And I know that that's partly because of the intro that she does every time she introduces herself on camera. But I love it. Her reviews are also extremely critical. She talks about books that I wouldn't normally pick up. They're books that I'm hesitant to pick up. So whether she really likes it or she really hates it, then I'm more prone to either pick it up or leave it. She's also introduced me to all the Book Riot things, and it's just... I really, really love her content. Number nine, master of all media. Whitney from Witty Novels. If you have not seen her Twitter page, you really need to. It is the most hilarious, relatable, best thing that I have ever seen. And she just, she's just the perfect Twitter person ever. Love it, love it so much. And I also follow her on Instagram. And number 10 is outside of the books. Who is someone that isn't a booktuber that still inspires you to make content? For me, I have two of those. I have Ali from Ali Gabriel, and I also have Josie from Josie May. Ali does a lot of makeup-based videos. She was a like beauty guru, but she also does a lot of lifestyle videos. She recently got married, and you got to see that entire process. And she's just a lovely human being. She's another one of those people that I feel like I relate to on all levels, like Ali, like the other Ali, Ali Reads books. I really feel like she just speaks to my soul sometimes. And she's been with me for like since Guam, since I like had my first channel and I just appreciate her being here and I appreciate her as a person. She's just a really wonderful person. The next person, Josie May, I've never talked to but she is a fitness, um, basically like a fitspo person and she's phenomenal and she's motivated me to do so many things. She motivates me to get up in the morning basically. Every time I get up in the morning I like watch one of her videos and I'm like all right I am ready to start the day now. Her fitness journey is just incredible and she continues to try and lead like a healthy, happy life. It just keeps me in a wonderful mood and I really, really enjoy her. I enjoy everybody's content on here, obviously. Uh, down below, if you don't make booktube videos but you still want to tell me like, all the different YouTubers that you think are in these categories, let me know. If you agree with some of my answers, let me know. If you have different answers for these questions, let me know. Or if you want to do this tag, please feel free to do it. I'm gonna tag all the booktubers that I mentioned in this video down below to do this tag, but if anybody wants to do this tag, please do so. I think that everybody just should be celebrated on booktube. We're part of an amazing community that's just full of like passion and love and I love it. And that's it. I hope you guys are having a great day and I will see you soon. Bye! Hey, so while I'm editing this, I realized that I picked no male booktubers at all, or any male YouTubers at all, and I'm definitely really sorry about that. I should have been more conscious about that. I just did not think about it at all, honestly. And I do watch a lot of male YouTubers and male booktubers. I know that there's less of them, but they are still amazing, and they still bring a lot to this community, and I should have been more conscious of that. So I do apologize. I will be more equal in the future, more gender equal, and I hope you guys are having a wonderful day once again, and I will see you soon. Goodbye.